been here once before, and that was for War in the Woods number one. This is War in the Woods number six. Now, War in the Woods number one, the track was a little sketchier than it is now. It's not, it's not not sketchy now. It's a little less sketchy now. So before, this was the only track I had ever filmed at where they had grass all the way down the track between the lanes. I've never seen that before. Now it's probably about half the track, but there's still grass there, so it still feels like you're a Brown County dragway. Also, they put Jersey dividers way past the guardrail, which they didn't have before, so that makes you feel a little safer as a racer. And they put some fences up so uh, spectators can't get as close to the action as they could before. So again, some safety stuff, but we should still see some crazy passes, some fast passes, maybe some carnage. We'll see. Now, last time we were here, there was an S10 that kind of stopped the show at the end of the night. Got a little bit of a wreck because there wasn't the Jersey barriers, so because they're there, they feel a little bit safer. That kind of stuff doesn't happen yet. We got big tire, small tire, and hard tire. We're taking the action right now. Nick is out here from Hustlin' Horsepower. He's got his Fox Body here. Now, a Fox Body doesn't necessarily mean it's very exciting most of the time when we see him, but this one's a little different. Nick's a little outside the box, so let's show you what he did to this one. So the wheel normally goes about there. As you can see, he's moved it up a little bit. And this is the most wild front end I've ever seen on a frickin' Fox body. first round can we just stop and appreciate this track for what it is we came here five years ago for the first race the war in the woods and it was wild talk about outlaw crazy track the atmosphere is here is wild they've had a lot of improvements here for safety they got a fence for the spectators they, they paved some of the grass in between the lanes the atmosphere here is the reason we're here it's such a cool track it's gonna be some crazy racing going down right now about how crazy Brown County Dragway is. We got the return road right here, going all the way down. The uh, the towers right here. Spectators. <laughs> 
Finders up on the hill, you know, just find, find your spot, get in where you fit in. The pits will hold about 40 trailers down here, and then we've got about another 40 trailers up over the hill. Got the, the concert stage. It's a party. What happened? Throttle, Throttle cable, cable broke. Did it just break right off the line? I, I, yeah, it broke straight off the line. Oh, it just closed it. Well, we're gonna shoot. try to buy it back in and fix it and get it going. Well, I guess get back down there. Have fun pushing right. your car though. They're bringing the racer right now. Oh, perfect. All right, man. Thanks. We'll get that fixed and we'll see you for the second chance race. That's a good team of guys. They got down here quick to help him push that thing. time at Brown County? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> what brings you here? Brown County. Yeah? Yeah. Just the videos, watching the stuff, watching War in the Wood and all that stuff, you know, and like 
you see how gangster it is and how, yeah. how you know, just old school hood, street race type stuff it is, you know what I mean? It's that kind of track, you know, like along the lines of like Yellow Belly and George Ray and all that stuff. So it's just cool, that kind of stuff's cool, you know, and I want to do it. And then as it goes on, you see more videos of it and you're like, holy, it's like it's getting serious, like, you know, that's some fast stuff. That's know? what brought us here the first year and that's why we're back. The feel of this track is amazing. Yeah, the, yeah, the track, they do the tree, like everything's so cool about it and then just the whole area is gorgeous, but man. Seeing the fast cars go down this track, and then hearing everybody like, "Hey, I'm gonna go to Warren Wood." And they're like, "Hey, Kelly, that'd be awesome, dude. That ride, that track, or that track looks cool. That race is awesome." And they're like, "Wait a minute, you're not taking your car, are you?" And I'm like, <laughs> "What the fuck is that supposed to mean?" <laughs> but, yeah, but here it is. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Yep, yeah, that's my car. Any big changes on the crow? I mean, we we changed it a lot, but you know, I don't know if anything's like you know any kind of crazy. New, nothing's new or expensive or no Hemi or nothing like that, but like it's still a 482 inch Butler uh, traditional Pontiac. Pontiac, uh, yeah. yeah. But it's got twin precision 98s, Rossler three speed, uh, you know, Jerry Bickle rear uh, housing, and then pretty much everything else we you know, done in house. So we kind of got to the point where we're doing most of everything in house now, you know, all the anti roll bar stuff, chassis stuff, like we're doing all that ourselves, but. You know, still it's kind of a similar combo, it's just maybe things are moved around in different places or used differently for this type of stuff, but, you know, still the same stuff. It's been been threes in a pro mod on radios, it's been threes on a big tire, uh, yeah. you know, steel body, like... Yeah, I remember kind of, SDMP, that three second pass was a magical, yeah, as a, magical first, moment. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the same combo that was in that car, you know, in 2016 yep. or whatever, so... Really? Pretty yeah, much it all has been a long time, I yeah. forgot how long you've had that in there. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I crashed my first car in like 2015, so... Yeah. It's been wild. Well, I can't wait to see you uh, throw down here at Brown County. Yeah. It's going to be a fun uh, fun Thank weekend you. here. I didn't know you were going to be here. It's so fucking cool. <laughs> That's all you like, hell yeah. This is like, we're going way back right now, you know what I mean? That's right. Like, you're the only camera around, you know? That's right. Yeah, back in the day. Like, you know, I mean, like, in my pit. You know, like, yep. I'm talking to you right now. That's fucking cool, man. Yeah. It really is. Back to the cash days where you had oil all over your hood, <laughs> all over your windshield from, what was that, Dallas? <laughs> yeah, yes, okay, oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. All of them, yeah. Thanks for your time, Chief. Oh, yeah, dude. Thanks, Good luck man. this weekend. See you, brother. All right, guys, this is first pair of big tire, first so round, four in the woods. Here we go. We got fire, he is on fire. Send fire down here, I guess. Dude, holy sh
person to blame. Look at you. Yeah, that's why we pulled the pin on the fire, though. Yeah, that's why we got some. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Woo! You good, man? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get it. That's a rough one. It, it kicked sideways and I pulled the chutes and let out and it was just, that was all I could do. It, was, it bounced wrong and that's, I guess that's all it was. It's all good. Damn. It's the race car. Well, that was a wreck that happened really fast. You never know what's gonna happen at the track, especially at a track like this. This track is wild. It's definitely an outlaw backwoods track here, and we've got grass on the side of the track before the barrier. Thankfully, Nick is fine. He's no stranger to carnage. We always get fit for that, but uh, he's gonna live to race another day, and no, no damage to him. Wild, wild ride. While we got some downtime, I wanted to take a second to remind you guys to head on over to 1320video.com. We've got new shirts and hats. We've got this one right here, America, all the way around. And we got this new shirt, 1320 Video HD. If you're a lifted truck guy like me, you're going to love it. Rusty truck. Yes, sir. I had to come check this thing out. Staring at a big turbo coming around the pits here. It seems, it seems to grab attention. Yes, it is. sucking things in from the fender. Well, not much of a fender, but small children and animals. So tell me the story. How'd this truck come about? Uh, I used to build pulling tractors, and I was at a customer's house. He had it sitting out in the weeds, and I said, "How about that thing?" And he yeah. said, "Well, I'll sell it to you, but I got to make some money." So he made two hundred dollars on two hundred bucks. Yep. <laughs> No, we brought it home and back after it and raced it like that on and it just progressed into something that's you know has only one purpose in life. Yeah. So the body looked pretty much like this? Exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> you had the picture in mind. Did you think it was gonna have the combo it does right now in it when you when you bought I it? I thought we'd eventually get there because uh, my pulling tractor used two of those turbochargers feeding into another bigger one. Okay. So I had four of those sitting around and it just made sense. Ah. So what's the engine in this this truck? Uh, 538 cubic inches with a precision 118 and holly fuel injection. Damn. I assume with that kind of power, it's got a pretty good chassis underneath it. Uh, yeah, it's double frame rail chrome holly tube chassis. It's a pro mod in a wolf's chassis. Yeah. Wolf clothing. It's just it's deceiving. I hope. Yeah. So you're the owner. You yes. get to drive it. Yep. I I've built this right before I had a car accident and wound up in this wheelchair. So these guys come and get it and drive it once in a while, so I still get to go. I'm, I'm glad you're having fun I'm with the truck. Yeah. Dumbest one to drive. Yeah. Yeah, he's the only one stupid. Crash test dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully no crashing. It kind of has a mind of its own sometimes. So how many passes are on the truck? Oh, hundreds. Yeah. But we had, it has zero passes on the new front and rear suspension and the new Holly fuel injection. But the combo, you've, you've got some passes yeah, on here. Yeah, turbo, transmission, all that, it knows what to do. Sweet. About how much power do you think it makes with that big, big old turbo on there? Uh, you know, here we're probably only going to make 16, 1700, but it's capable of considerably more. So. Well, what's your strategy for this weekend? We don't really have one because we don't know if our old tune-up is going to be the same with this new system. It acts a lot more angry with the Holly on it than it did with the um, big stuff that we took off. But um, 
it's just gonna be shoot from the hip and hope for the best. Yeah. Yeah. We could shoot ourselves in the foot, go out in the first round, or we may be heroes. You never know. Decent uh -huh. fame in the first round. Yeah. Yep. We'll see how it goes. Yep. Wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you very much. Good luck today. Yeah, have a great Thank day. You. Yeah. on this track. It's been pretty <laughs> sketchy today. And we went A to B. That's all we're after. Perfect. Yeah. Nice work. Yeah. Time for some hard tire race. We got the beautiful blue Camaro here running on a non-sticky tire. Seeing how quick we can go down on a tire that's not meant to go drag racing. Let's see how quick we can go. We're not going to know how quick it goes. This is grudge racing. Let's see if he makes the first pass first round. Windshield wipers came up. All right, the third gen's up here, about to make a buy run. He got lucky in first round, doesn't have to race anybody. The hard tire class is very interesting because these guys are racing. These guys are racing on a tire that should not be on a drag strip. They did, they're not sticky enough to hook up very well, especially with the kind of power these guys are putting down. So let's see how he does in his buy run, see how he does in the second round against somebody. I just hit the brakes too hard. I was like, no, please don't. I was, I was like, don't go, don't go. Please, so much money in it. Did the tire pop? When it, or? Yeah, it's fixed. <laughs> no, it, it, I, I was on the scram button. I was closing the gap on Joe, and I mean, they're buddies, and they just got that truck done. Last thing I wanted to do is watch someone else up. 
Yeah. So. Yeah, you did a good job keeping it off the wall. Yeah. So. Did that happen when you got went sideways? Did a good the job. Tire? I, I, I think it got in the gravel. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I thought it was right in the wall. Not I think really. the gravel no, helped a lot, honestly. No, no, no. Look, you, can, you can see where it rode the gravel. It's been a luck and a lot oh, yeah. of fucking driver skill. Yeah. Another wild ride here at War in the Woods. The Fox Body is going to be racing again soon. Just a tire and a little bit of paint on the back bumper. Not a big deal. It's a really good thing they put asphalt in the middle of the track here where the grass was last time we were here. It used to be grass all the way down the track. If that would have been the case, he would have been deep into the wall and this car probably would have been gone. Who knows what we have in store of the rest of War in the Woods here. We're just getting into the second round for small tire. rain delay just started downpouring and we're um, hiding for cover in the Yukon but we'll either be racing in a few hours tonight it is a no prep so they can't prep it and there is no big track blowers here they've got backpack blowers and push blowers so it's gonna be late tonight when we continue racing or tomorrow on Sunday or they might split it so we'll find out shortly all right, we just got back from dinner and they've been drying the track for a couple hours. Unfortunately, they cannot dry it out enough, so they're going to be continuing the race tomorrow at 10 in the morning. So we will be back in the sunlight. After a rain delay last night, we're back at Brown County Dragway for the second day, which wasn't supposed to happen. We're supposed to finish it last night of War in the Woods. We're going to go right into second round of Big Time. We only have three cars left. Nick Taylor wrecked yesterday. We had one competitor leave, so it leaves three. We're going to see who makes it to the final. Big Chief has a bye right now.
definitely bouncy. Nice work. Yeah, I did a little driving on that one. Yeah? Huh? What do you expect? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You had boost this time? Uh, yeah, we left on a little bit that time. Good. I think we're going to probably try to hit it harder on this, on the, off the I think you're going to have to. There's only yeah. one more car to race. Yeah. That's <laughs> chief. Yeah, it's a pretty tall feat. <laughs> yeah. I was talking to him earlier. I was like, what's your plan? He's like, well, I slowed the car down. Probably hoping for like a 460 on this track. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. That's fine. I mean, we can throw a 460 tune in this thing. Yeah. We can send if it. it'll stick, might be different, you know. But... Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it, I think, for the second round of big tire. And we're moving on to hard tire. What? Oh, oh, we got no. this crazy what? looking Jeep. I think it's going to be a the... pretty good day here today. I can't wait to call it, but it's a twin turbo we Wrangler. We do want to check this out. Car. Footage at the no finish line. Word yet. As we wait and wait to see what Lippy says. Right lane, Brandon Herrick is moving on. Asphalt in the center. I believe that just, I believe that last just year, made that's what, Oh yeah. We wiped out the white car here last year, and yeah. I kept telling everyone I ain't gonna push it. <laughs> Usually when you get that sideways at this track, it's over. It's the wildest. You stayed out of the grass, yeah. And then there wasn't any grass in the center. Thank God they Woo! did. The improvements that was a, have changed everything here, man. Yeah. It made it so much better to go down. Yeah. I think oh, this yeah. is your guys' first time here. Uh, we came for the first one. Okay. Yeah. Then you already know, like, this oh, place yeah. just don't disappoint. Like, oh, yeah. if you're a spectator, there is nowhere else on the planet you get your money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to say to everyone, I hate cars without front ends. <laughs> it's the are. lamest thing in the world, but in Kentucky this year, about two and a half months ago, we clipped a hay bale and it wiped out the front end. That's all it wiped out. We ended up going to the finals in big tire and splitting with Jeff at that event. So it didn't hurt the car, but it took the front end off. We ordered one on the way home. We're still waiting. Oh, so like damn. to everyone that's gonna hate on this for no front end, <laughs> it's not on purpose. You know, in no prep racing, I don't think anybody cares anymore. It's just <laughs> accept it. Well, nice run and nice save, man. Yeah, thank you Congrats. so much.
to the end of the track. Joe Thomas is moving on. up that round of big, big tire, small tire, 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 hard tire, and small tire second chance. They're going to go ahead and hold chips and uh, line up the second round, and we'll get going racing here for the next round in a few minutes. Jeff Thomas out here at your own event over in the woods. I had to come check out Trey Styles. What's What's the story behind the name of this car, first of all? A buddy of mine, John Molina, that passed away, actually came up with the name Furious Styles, which is one of the characters out of the movie Boys in the Hood. Yeah. So all my cars are named after characters from there. So ah. Furious Styles was Lawrence Fishburne, Trey Styles was Cuba Gooding Jr., and then my 62 Falcon is Lil' Chris. <laughs> so they all, all the cars are, that's just, I don't know, you know how, I like that. how it comes out. Yeah, Pete, a lot of times I get that, like the greatest name in the history of drag. Got the four eye box over here. I see the Chevy badge and the big block. What's the common one of the hood? So, all women in 588, three kids. Damn, serious power. How much How much are you spraying the last lap? 600. Out of what? 850. You just ramp it in real grab. I got three kids all on progressive, so yeah. All right, good luck next round, man. Hey, thanks. Appreciate you guys coming out. Oh. Jeff Thomas up here for third round, and Trey Styles going up against a turbo Chevy 2 Nitrous on turbo. Let's see who makes it to the semifinal in small tire. continuing to make moves to win his own event. Let's see if he can do it. He's got two more races to take home the money. No staging lanes, he's going straight to the burnout box. It's time for the semifinals in small tire. straw up with that parachute.
Thomas going on to the finals. He'll be racing last year's champion, Brandon, in the New Edge Mustang. That's going to be a good race. Both of those cars are fast as hell. Another one. Hey. Nice <laughs> work. We're out here. I think we might have a car to beat, to be honest. I know. Yeah, yeah that's going to be. Both know, of you Mark's, do, though. It's going to be a good Mark's race. Yeah. Mark's flying, but. Did you turn it up a little bit? Just a little bit each time, but I mean, it, it's not even remotely thinking about not taking it. So. Really? It's, it'll take it. It'll take more. You Don't know? get too greedy. No, I mean, we got some weight on the front end, so to keep the wheelies down, still letting the front end travel, and it's working good. So, uh, hey, I'll talk to Brandon. He's a good dude. We'll figure out what we want to do here, and we're going to turn it up and go for it. Oh, yeah. On to the finals. That's it. Coming up quick. Thank you. Good work. All right, guys, we are bringing to you in a couple minutes here the War in the Woods 6 finals. We're starting with hard tire, then we're going with second chance small tire, then small tire, then big tire. So we have four races, finish the race, starting with hard tire. Here we go. And sink at it. <laughs> you best. got to. If it sticks, it's going to be fast. If it doesn't, it's going to be a hell of a ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Keep her CO2. straight, man. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Talk about a weird race. We've got a Pontiac GTO going up against a pickup truck in the big tire final. Two serious big tire cars going for some money right here in the finals here at War of the Woods. He has 70 GC. Let's play. 
Jeff Thomas. I'll be back. Congratulations. Congratulations. Way too much fun. Edges. Nice work. Yeah. How was your Brown County Dragway experience? I think it's about as good as it can get. Yeah, I'd say been so. Watching, uh, Taking home the win. Been watching the War in the Woods stuff on YouTube, you know, watching Street Race Channel and all those guys, and they come out here. And it just looks like the greatest time ever, you know. So. Too bad we didn't get a race at night. That's the part that sucks is that yeah, we, but we yep. came here because of the night race, because yeah. it was cool and you know gangster and all that, but it was still cool and gangster just during the day, you know. Still had to fight for it too. Congrats on a good performance here at War in the Woods. Thanks, dude. Right. Yeah. See you again, man. Thanks, man. Thank you very Congrats. much. Dang, Jeff Thomas winning his own race. <laughs> nice work. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. gotta feel good. Man. We earned that one. Yeah. Yeah. He right. really did. That was a good race too. It's a good race. He jumped. Did he? He, he red led. Oh, I sure. didn't know that. Yeah. I, I mean, I didn't hear it from them, but okay. you know, when you're in the car, I, he, I'm pretty sure he red led, but I still came around him on the other end. But man, what a race. You yeah. guys let, yeah, it was like, you guys are stuck to each other and you just start easily pulling. Yeah. And, yeah. Wow. I had, to, I had to use all three guns that time though. <laughs> After a week of anticipation, that uh, made it all worth it to see that really good yeah, race in I mean, the final. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah, it is. I'm glad we got, we're able to get the race done just yeah. for, the, for the fans that wanted to see it. And you know, we got two inches of rain last week. Yeah. And they got like a half inch of rain last night. Yeah. Made it happen today. Pretty nice awesome, work. man. I sure appreciate you guys being out here and everybody that supports War in the Woods. If you haven't been to Brown County Dragway, you got to come check this thing out. It's, it's an experience. Baddest, it's the baddest track no prep in the country. <laughs> I, I believe that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I really do. I think it's This cool. and Yellow Belly have a similar feel. Yeah. Completely yeah. different tracks, but yeah. very similar feel. Yeah. Street tracks. Awesome. I love it. I'm Congratulations. Up. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> That's going to do it from War in the Woods here at Brown County Dragway. If you haven't been to Brown County Dragway, it is a track to experience. It's unfortunate we didn't get a race at night here. If you want to see some of the video of that, check the link in the description from the first time we were here. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you next time.